I'm Jeremy Puck from Puck Custom Enterprises. I'm here to tell you about our agitation boat. When we built this pump, we were looking for a machine that could do a more efficient job of agitating a large scale lagoon and to reach all areas of the lagoon. Uh, the drawbacks of the lagoon pump were that we couldn't reach out into the middle of these, these large dairy lagoons and large hog lagoons. So we needed a machine that could go out to the center of the lagoon and get the solids to come up off the bottom. The mixing action and the stirring action is done by the same, the same things. There's three nozzles on this boat. There's one on the front that steers it from right to left and also does mixing. And there's two nozzles in the back that propel it forward and backward that do mixing also. It features a John Deere 185 horse engine. It's got a Cornell 6 and HTB pump on it that can displace up to 4,000 gallons a minute. Fuel consumption on this 185 horsepower boat is uh, between four and eight gallon an hour. It has a 127 gallon fuel tank, so it's got enough fuel capacity for up to 20 hours of runtime before you'll have to refuel it. This boat will replace up to four lagoon pumps. In comparison, a, la a lagoon pump will burn between eight and 12 gallon an hour, so if we're replacing four of them, that could be as much as 48 gallon an hour. This burning eight gallons, we could be saving up to 40 gallons an hour, which could be a cost savings of about $250 uh, per hour uh, running this one boat compared to running four tractors and lagoon pumps. We have a few different options that we can do with the boat. We can change the size of the engine and we can change the trim on the pump to, to adapt it for a smaller boat. We can trim the pump and shrink the horsepower of the engine. We can take it down to 140 horse with a 13 inch impeller. Um, if you need more horsepower and you want to use it as also a floating lead pump, we can add a 9 liter engine to this and use the same pump so it will have the ability to, to push to the field as well as be an agitation boat. We also have the option of a cutter pump. Uh, Cornell has, has recently released cutter blades that we can put in the back of this pump. So if you have a lagoon that's covered in straw or weeds that would give you trouble that you need some cutting action, we can add cutter blades to the back of this pump to help uh, cut up all those weeds and uh, straw or anything that you have on top of your lagoon as cover. As far as putting it into a lagoon or taking it out of a lagoon, there's a hook on the front of the boat that you can throw a log chain around and drag it out with a tractor or you can push it in with a tractor and loader uh, to get it in. For transportation, it's got a 24 foot tip bed car trailer with a 15,000 pound winch on it that you can winch the boat up onto the trailer. The wings on this hydraulically fold, so for, for transportation up and down the road, it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes and you can have this pulled out of a lagoon, winched onto your car trailer, and you can be going to the next job at uh, road speed, which is, which is a big benefit compared to the lagoon pumps that have to be pulled by a tractor or require a tractor to run them.